Hello. Hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. Whatever time of day you are listening to this, welcome. We, we welcome you. We have done this a day late. Um, well, technically, technically a, w- a week like, and a day late. Yeah. Um, but uh, the, the last time uh, I didn't hit record properly, and so it was not good. We kind of fought at the end as well, it just didn't help. Yeah, but, it know. sounded awful. Yeah. <laughs> People would have been like, oh, these these guys, this is awkward. These guys are not friends. <laughs> <laughs> it just would have been really awkward to listen to. So hopefully we won't fight in this one. Yeah, so um, it's it's a bit late now because we were going to do it yesterday, but then our brother from England and our sister-in-law, wife. they came over and... We couldn't get peace to do it, basically. Yeah. But anyway, we were in London recently. Yeah, at the start of October we were in London for an acting course, which was incredibly fun, but also kind of weird. Um, yeah, we had to do physical theatre, and I don't know if you've ever done that before, but it involves... Think about all those TV shows where um, the drama teacher's like, Now pretend you're a cloud floating through the air. And like just all now the... you are a tree waving in the breeze. That's physical theatre, and it is more awkward than you can imagine. We're also in a slightly different position this week. If if it sounds a bit weird, we're we're lying down. We're lying down because because we need a nap. Yeah, but anyway, it was really good. Um, everybody else in the course seems to have some form of sort of acting. Fo- formal acting training. Yeah, whereas we just sort of make it up as we go along. Yeah, but I mean, it seems to work all right. Yeah, October seems to be the month for acting, acting and London trips yeah. because last year we were at Class Act with the BBC. And we also got to go on the podcast, the Greg James podcast, which was really fun. Yeah, I miss the pod. I miss- we call it the podcast because it was our favorite podcast. Yeah, and now it's died. Yeah, well they're talking. It's about- different, but yeah, it's different. It's just sort of like four or five minutes long, and there's no sort of extra bits. Yeah, but which was part of the fun, you know? They read out your emails and. They got post and play games. And Your voice is very husky. Like I know today. it's really croaky. I don't know. Anyway, we did a skit for the RNIB as well. Yeah. Was this, this is the, the one in City? F- yeah, but City Hall in Belfast, which is quite a cool place to be. It's massive. Um, we got to go past like a velvet rope to go upstairs. Ooh, velvet, velvet rope. <laughs> um, which is really cool. Um. We almost kind of got shouted at because we went over the velvet rope and then we were just like, no, we're with the RNIB. And they were like, okay, cool, go ahead. And we were like, we're VIPs. Visually impaired peoples. Yeah. And it was it was really good. It was a really big hall. And it's I've never been inside City Hall before. Me neither. I really wanted to go. There was like a tour, a guided tour, but I just kind of wanted to go off and explore on my own. I don't think I would have yeah. liked it. I, w- I didn't want to hear the history and stuff of it necessarily. I just wanted to be like, well, that's did- a class chandelier there, hey. I did want to hear the history, but also, like, not too much history. <laughs> yeah. Like, the cool bits of history, not like, <laughs> this bit, this wall was built out of sandstone and built in 1876. Like, no, I want to be like, this wall almost got destroyed by a bomb in World War Two. Yeah. Like, just, like, cool, interesting history. Um, but yeah, um, doing the skit with the RNB was really fun. Uh, people really seem to enjoy it. You can find it on our... YouTube channel, it is called New, New Dog. Dog. So Um yeah. So a thing happened to me and I haven't written down, that's how I remember it, whenever we were initially gonna record this podcast, and that was I turned on my computer and then before I had even got to the sign in stage, a YouTube video started playing and it scared the living daylight out of me. <laughs> <laughs> what video was it? I don't know, I can't remember, but it was just, it made me jump. Like, it was it was like a vlog or something like that, because it was just someone talking. <sighs> I was not okay. So my laptop does that whenever I, like, flip it open and I've left it on. Yeah, no, mine does that too, but, like, I had it off, and before I turned it off, I, like, exited out of everything. Yeah. But Wait, so where was it coming from? Like, no, it was, it was coming from my computer. It was coming from Google Chrome, other website browsing browser things are available um but yeah whenever i like unlocked it like signed in chrome was just sitting open along with the youtube video it was like this is where you left off and i was like uh no because i specifically closed that ghost ghosts are watching your yeah. laptop I'm a really, fun thing happened to me today I and i just want to say i'm really sad because my whiteboard is broken 
because we have all the notes from last week's recording. Um, just get nail varnish remover wipes off straight away. Off, but that means I have to get up out of bed. And <sighs> uh, today at the bus depot, I dribbled on myself, <laughs> <laughs> and it was full of like school kids. And I'm pretty sure one little boy saw me dribble on myself and I just kind of looked into his eyes and went, please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. Um, so that was embarrassing. That's my story yeah. for today. I dribbled on myself. We have some would you rathers and unfortunately I cannot remember who sent them in now. Oh. Um, but Thanks if you did. We'll, we'll go through them anyway. So would you rather have a short term memory um, like that's really good and a long term memory that's really bad or the opposite? Um, I think I'd rather have a good long-term memory because eventually you'd remember what happened last week. <laughs> That's what I was going to say too. <laughs> like, how long is long-term? Or would it just be suddenly you're, you're you're concussed and you can't remember anything, but you can remember what happened years ago? Is that the kind of thing? Like like see, Alzheimer's? See, this is the thing. You're asking me all these questions. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> these questions are hard. Just, I think I'd rather have just a long-term assume, memory. Long okay? term. Rather than asking questions, just assume you're right in whatever way you think. Long but term. Yeah, I would rather have long term. Uh, would you rather be invisible or or like have the power of invisibility? This is where we started power. to fight last time, so I'm just going to say I'd rather be invisible. Or have the power of flight. No, it's because you did exactly the same thing. I only have the question. I don't have stipulations. And you were like, no, 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 but what way would it be? And I was like, I don't know. I didn't ask the question. Okay, well, can I just say I'm sharing it. My, um, what would you call it? Like, my terms and conditions for this would be that if I had to pick one, then I would be able to, like, touch someone else and they would be invisible too, or I'd be able to hold someone's hand and they could fly as well. That's my terms. Okay. What would you rather have? I don't know. I I think flight would be cool, actually, because then I wouldn't have to <coughs> get bosses everywhere. But if you were invisible, you could just, like, sneak into the cinema and stuff. You could just do anything. I would feel really guilty for doing that, though. I'd feel so, so bad. I get such bug. I think I'd rather fly. I'd yeah, rather no, fly. Yeah, but you've got like planes and birds to contend with whenever you fly. I wouldn't fly high off the ground. I'd just sort of but zoom then, around places. But then people would see you. We live in the countryside. So you'd just fly around the countryside? Or maybe I would become famous for being the person that flies. You would be like dissected. Um, the next one is... I swear someone just asked me and I said flight and I can, no, I can fly. I don't know. Um, would you rather have the ability to teleport or the ability to read minds? You answer this one first. I think teleport because I think reading minds could be like, it, it could be useful, but it could also be like really Would you be able to control dangerous. it though? Would you be able to be, like, just be like, would it just be if you make eye contact someone you can read that? Sorry. Um, making it complicated again. Like, I don't know. I think the way I would do it is like, you could choose whether or not to read their mind. Yeah. Could you take someone with you and teleport? Do yeah. you think? I think so, yes. But as far as reading minds goes, it would only be you that would be able yeah. to read minds. Like, it wouldn't be able to, like, they wouldn't be able to reciprocate it. Unless they were super, super clever. And yeah. they were like, unless they caught no, on that you were reading their mind, surely. No, because, like, it's like a radio. It's the way I would think of it. Like One way. Would, yeah, one way. Not a walkie-talkie. Yeah. I think I'd rather teleport because then I could be like, zoom, and then I'm in the gym. And then I wouldn't have to waste an hour having Traveling, to get there. yeah. Would you, but would you get travel sick if you teleported? I'd get used to it. Okay. Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> would you rather visit the past or visit the future? I'm assuming you can pick. Like, I want to go to 1984. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you can pick, like, I want to go somewhere in the past. Oh, but what if you couldn't pick? What if you were just told you can either go back in time or forward in time, but you're not going to know what year until you land there? But then... Can let's you come say, back? Let's, let's say it's for like a maybe half hour visit. Half hour. I think I'd rather go to the past. Why? Because what if you went to the future? It was horrible. True. And you're just living with that going, things are only going to get worse. But if you went to the past, like what if it was a pure dull time? Like I don't know, the future, could, like the past you could go to, I don't know, you could just be in an air raid shelter for half an hour or something like that. Something that's a bit... So I still think it would be cool though. But like if you go to the future everything's all new and like shiny and weird. Or it could all be dead. I mean that would be pretty sucky half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anybody alive out there? Can anybody hear me? <laughs> Can
Can you, um, like, if if you were going back in time, what time would you go to? I don't think I'd go to the Middle Ages. I think it would be really interesting, but I'd assume I'd have, like, all the relevant, like, vaccinations and stuff to not end up with, like, <laughs> black death. Yeah, yeah, so you're, like, immune to any old-timey diseases. Yeah, so, like, if someone came up and sneezed on me, oh, that's another question. Would we be seen or would we be invisible? Would we be able to interact? Let's assume, let's assume that we're invisible. So unable to or interact. we're invisible or we somehow just like filter in we we just look like we belong no. i don't know like in doctor who yeah. like no one ever questions him her 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 <gasps> that's another topic we have to get onto um yeah i don't know i think the past but i don't know where i think i think wartime would be cool or like post-war yeah yeah i'd like to go back and hear like all the stories and stuff yeah. like sit in a psychiatrist's office invisible in the corner I know that sounds really creepy, but like, you know, I think it would be interesting to hear what it was really like at the front line and stuff. Yeah. But then I'd also like to go on the Titanic before it sank. Yeah. Just because it's the Titanic, man. Yeah, you'd, need, you'd need more than half an hour to explore the Titanic, though. Just run. <laughs> Burst into people's room. Hey, sorry, wow, this is cool, bye. Imagine you were invisible and like you couldn't interact, but you could like... People would, could feel you. You had to open doors and stuff. That would be weird. Freak everybody out. But yeah, do you know, have you thought of any more? Have I thought of any more? No. Those are just ones people sent. I didn't no, 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 I meant like, have you thought any more now about where you'd like to go? I what said, time? I already said. Oh, okay. I said post-war. Or yeah, you, well, or... but yeah, you didn't sound sure. I was quite certain. Oh, okay. You threw away the whiteboard. Do you have you have it all memorized now? No, that's, that's really all we had. The Northern Irish phrase of the week was um I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you should have kept it. Can I see it before you throw it away? Shut your back. Shut your back. Which is basically just shut your mouth. Um I can't remember a childhood story. Um Me neither. Unless I talk about did we talk about the time I got stuck in all the It rooms? was the No, but that's a good story. Can I have your whiteboard and I'll write down the one I was thinking of and we can do that next time? It's no. Okay. I'll remember no, it, it's just fine. just remember it. I'll, no, remember you, it. I'll do one and you do one. Okay, we'll do okay. it that way. Um, so mine was we were on holiday. I have the feeling that we either did it in the last podcast that didn't record or we've done it in a podcast before. But anyway, um, we were at a swimming pool and we had like with our cousins in Mallorca. That's not? Yeah. And we had piled up, we all had rubber rings and we piled them on top of each other. And I decided it would be smart if I tried to dive through them all. I mean, it would have been cool. But Were they yeah. taller than you? Yeah, no. They must have been taller than you. I don't think so. It was like four rubber rings you had Well, yeah, it was up. sort of up to my shoulders, so I had to jump and then dive. If that makes sense, yeah. I had to jump up. Um, but yeah, um, I sort of thought, yeah, they're pretty wet, so like I, I should just sort of slide right through. Um... But, you know, six, uh, seven-year-old Chloe didn't think that, yeah, the sun dries water. So whenever, by the time I had, like, sorted them out, the ones on the top had dried completely. Yeah. So, yeah, I got stuck and I swear I nearly drowned. I think that's the longest I've ever held my breath. But, yeah, I got free, so I'm here we were today all, to talk about we it. We were all laughing that hard and then I was going over to try and help you. Um, and then you got out. So I was coming to rescue you. Thanks. Just, just so you know. That I was a horrific day. My li- my wee life flashed before my eyes. Oh, bless. Was it really blurry? Yeah. Because uh-huh. I'm blind. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. What's your story? We were at the port. And it was busy. It was seal season. Mm-hmm. And I was walking beside mum. I'm pretty sure that it was just me, you and mum. You think dad was there too, but I'm pretty sure it was me on one side, mum, then you on the other side of mum. And that's why see, the I, event I happened. Can, I can see it in my head and I'm on like on on dad's shoulders. That's the only reason. Like, no, no, I'm pretty sure it was, we were. Because you remember the lady? Maybe we might have. I don't know, maybe dad was there. Anyway, point being, I was holding mommy's hand and I was walking along and then I was reading a sign on a window and it was like four pieces of paper, each one had a letter on it. I was trying to work out what the word was. 
I'm I'm moving because I'm getting anxious remembering the story. <laughs> <laughs> um, it said seal, by the way. Just um, Ooh, four folklore. letters. You did say seal season. Yeah, um, but I was like S A L E. Oh, sorry. And then I had bumped into a wee old lady and her shopping bags. She and wasn't wee though. Was she? I thought she was sort of. I think she she was shorter than mum. All right. Do you mean fat? Yeah. I don't know. She was wearing quite a big coat in my memory, but yeah. I mean, she definitely wasn't a skinny wee twig. But <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, and she started roaring at me. I'm going, yes, you're right, but you're going. What do you think you're doing? You're taking a blow of a bath. You're going to knock me over. That was very painful. I was kind of like, I said I was sorry, my way. I said I was sorry. I apologize to her. And I got, I started crying. And my was like, it's okay. It's not your fault. Um, um, and she, yeah, she was like, it's not your fault. Blah, blah, blah. Making me feel better. And I was okay about it. And then... I don't know, there's other times then, and I remember her being like, remember what happened in the port? You bumped into that lady, you need to be careful where you're walking. And I was kind of like, you said it wasn't my fault. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was a horrific day, I didn't like that. The end of my sad story. Poor Judith. Everybody say aw. Aww. Aww. You can't say oh, it sorry, to yourself. I can't say it to myself, yeah. <laughs> Shh. See, what else do we have to talk about? Doctor Who. Doctor Who, yeah. No, we'll, we'll touch on it a wee bit, because I know that not a lot of people... Well, no, a lot of people watch Doctor Who, but you, certain listener, might not like it. But we do, so we're going to talk about it. And We talked about it at length in another podcast. We will not... The yeah. last bedtime podcast, we talked about it, actually. Yeah. So, not um, bedtime, sleepy time, it, nap time. So we're, like, now, what, three episodes in? Yeah. We've only watched two, because we didn't get to watch last night's episode. Um, but we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Um, I love it, personally. Okay. I, think I think it's really, it's really good. good. I, If you remember from a previous podcast, I was a bit... Yeah, we were both a bit hesitant about yeah. whether or not it would work with Judy. Yeah, but as soon as... like, Her first scene was just hilarious. I think, that's, really I, think good. They, I think they tried to sort of do that. I think they were nearly under pressure to make the first scene. Yeah, good. it had to be good. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what I think of the companions. I think, like, I think three's too many. Yeah, because it's hard to keep track of where everybody is. I think they're trying to sort of keep it like, I don't want to say PC, multicultural, multicult, <laughs> multicultural, like, well, they are universal they, or like inclusive yeah. because they've, they've got young, there, they've old, got old they've got, like, and I think they're just pushing it a wee bit too far with they're, it because they're trying to please everybody. Yeah. And I think Doctor Who over the years, it's it's never pleased everybody really. Yeah, there's, there's always been episodes where you're like, well, excuse me. Yeah, there's always type like people hated um, Martha, and um, people didn't like her, and people didn't like um, Donna, and like you can't please everybody. Yeah. Like, like, I don't know, maybe there's a reason there's three. Maybe, like, you know, in later episodes, three becomes two. And then two becomes one, that's the song. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, like, maybe they'll have to be sacrificed or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to an alien planet. But as far as storylines have gone, it's pretty good. Yeah. Are the episodes longer? They're, like, 49 minutes. Oh, okay, no, they're not longer then. Yeah, they're about the same. I don't like it being on a Sunday. Yeah, I think it's Doctor mainly just because has... we're never going to get to watch it on yeah. a Sunday. Doctor Who has always been on a Saturday. It's always been like bath, dinner, Doctor Who kind of thing. And then casual day. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, um, I suppose they just wanted to make it different. Like, it could just are be Are they doing a Christmas special? Because it's sort so. of, it's going to be on right up until Christmas. Yeah. It sort of started at a weird is time. It, yeah, is it always going to be like October to December? Because that'll be sad. Because like, what do you watch the rest of the year? Yeah. It always started with the Easter special and then sort of went until the start of summer. Yeah. And then September time they started building up for Christmas again. Well, maybe not September, October. Yeah, I don't know. No, they always did a children in need kind of thing as well. Yeah. Stop banging your head in the building. Sorry. But yeah, like, that was... It's good. I like I, it. I suggest you give it a wee watch yeah. at least. Um, and give the, give the first episode a good a good go. Like don't give up after ten minutes. Yeah. Because it does it genuinely does. The get starting there. does sort of drag a wee bit. Yeah. It's a bit boring until she gets there. Yeah. But then I think that was just because I was waiting for her and I was going, What's it gonna be like? Is it gonna be good? Is this gonna be worth watching? 
Yeah. So, but it is. So, there you go. Sorted. Um, I was going to mention um other podcasts that we listen to, particularly ones like Northern Irish. Yeah. Ones. Because um, we want to support local talent. podcasts. Yeah, talent, I suppose. But it's mostly we comedians. maybe talk about, like, our radio thing first with the RIB. Oh, yeah, we were on Q Radio. Is that what you were going to say about it? I thought you were. I thought you had planned to say something. I was no. just sort of introducing it. No, I hadn't. <laughs> We'd be terrible radio it was, presenters. It was the RIB's 150th birthday. Happy birthday! Um, on the, was it like the 16th of October? I think it was the 16th. I think it was the 16th. Yeah, 16th of October, because it's the same birthday as Blue Peter. But R and I B was one hundred and fifty years old. Blue Peter was only sixty. Aww. Oh, we baby. Oh, um, but yeah, we got invited up to Belfast to do a very quick, very quick interview with Q Radio, which was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I like radio. Um, I like TV as well, but like, I guess just the ease of radio. Yeah, like you don't have a camera st- like sticking yeah. in your face. Like on radio, you can flap. <laughs> you yeah. can flail your arms and be like, I don't know what I'm doing, but then like be talking and being like gesturing to someone desperately, like give me more things to say. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. Um, and then we got cake, which is just nice, nice solid. Cake. Um, I think yeah. there's still a slice sitting downstairs, out by the bread bin. So I'm gonna need to throw that That's out. That's probably out. It's like, probably yucky. Uh, Mouldy. Um, but yeah, it was really good. We got to meet a whole pile of other sort of like visually impaired people, different people who work with the RNIB, some old friends from the RNIB. I say old friends, but like, they're, not, they're not that old. <laughs> oh, I think you meant old as in like known for ages. I did, but I was making a joke. All right, okay. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, it was really good. Um, I want to do more sort of like radio things and like yeah, it's media things. Yeah, I enjoyed the radio thing. I have to say, it was it was fun. Like it was short, but it was good crack. Yeah, we even got to promote Skip Twins. Yeah. So, so if, if you're a new he- listener, because of that, the welcome. Please let us know um, on Twitter at s k i t underscore t w i n s Skit Twins. That's Skit under slash Twins. Under slash is a thing that Chloe does to annoy me. She says under slash instead of underscore. But also, you're gonna remember the under slash, like. If you say underscore, that's just going to be like almost immediately forgotten. But because under slash is different, you're going to be like, what was it? Skit? <gasps> it was under slash because that's a weird name. Twins. I thought about this. Stop like, trying to defend it. Marketing. It's wrong. <laughs> Branding. <laughs> Branding. Um, but yeah, I think it would be cool. Imagine we brought out a clothes brand. The Merrill's, Merrill Twins did it. <laughs> Why would you bring out... what? I don't see the it point. It would be workout it. clothes. It would be well, like yeah, true, but ones I'm... that are like odor resistant. Yeah, and don't get tangled when you put them in the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> that could work. That could work. We yeah. could do that. How much would you charge? Would you like charge? They like... would be cheap. Oh, but no. would they be cheap? No. Would they be cheap material? Because you have to make them and like pay for all that stuff. Oh, I don't know. They wouldn't be, like, super-duper expensive. They'd be sort of middle. Would you give people anything else with it? Like, oh, you bought a t-shirt here, have, like, a signed card. Would people want the signed card, though? I mean, this is if we make it... This is if we make the big time. It was an example. Yeah, I would give them a signed card. I don't get why people would have to pay for autographs and stuff. Is that what you're suggesting? No, like, like, uh... Almost, like... A personalised one? Yeah. Like, hey, thanks for buying our product, James. <laughs> <laughs> the sports bra will look great on you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there are other podcasts from Northern Ireland that we like. Um, she and Todd. She and Todd, yeah. She and Todd cast. Um, if you just search She and Todd podcast, I'm sure you'll find it. Um, he's a comedian. He's very funny. And he just generally talks about life. Yeah, um, just, but in between sips like of tea. Yeah, I, d- I don't. If you don't like hearing people drinking and swallowing, maybe not his. <laughs> yeah, because you can hear that gulp. Yeah, not. It's not like a really loud gulp, but you can hear it go down. Yeah. Um. Another one is Dave Elliott's weird podcast. 
which is it's pretty much the same as she and Todd's to be honest um Shane and Dave would be really good friends so some of the stories kind of overlap but it's interesting here but it's from good, different yeah. perspectives yeah There's again a... it's just sort of talking about life and yeah it? it gets quite deep at times and sort yeah of, it's very real like, yeah to the bone sometimes um political I don't want to say I was gonna I was trying to find a different word but yeah sometimes political but like in an interesting kind of way not in a sort of he's forcing his views on you yeah it's more sort of this the way i from. see it yeah it's like this but, but whatever other you people, think but other people might see it as this yeah it's it's very much not it's, it's quite not, neutral yeah it's, it's not condescending or anything yeah. it's just i don't want to say it's 100 percent neutral but it's it's quite neutral yeah it's fairly middle of the road yeah there's also sean hegarty's podcast yep What's it, what does he call it? Is it just Sean, Sean Hegarty Hager? talks to himself? That's what it is. Um, and again, it's just him chatting away. But he has like sort of different games kind of thing. And yeah, features. different segments. Segments. So he um, has this is what I learned this week. and Top five jokes of the week. And he does his own like theme tunes and stuff. His which jingles, is, which are class. Yeah. He is unreal, those. Um, and he has like his own intro rap kind of thing. Um, and sometimes he does podcasts with his wife, Diona. So that's hanging with the Hegarty's, but it's all in the same feed. channel feed thing. Um, just sort of, they'd be titled Hanging with the Hegarty's, hanging rather, with the Hegarty's than rather than Sean, Sean Hegarty talks, talks to himself. To himself. Um, there's other ones that are like sort of like affiliated with the BBC. Yeah. So sort of like the Blame Game, which is like, I guess the equivalent of Mock the Week, only for sort of just focused on Northern Ireland politics really yeah. um, which is pretty good if you want to learn about Northern Ireland it's politics really, I love it, it's really funny but maybe it's not funny to it's it's very Northern Irish based humour um, which is basically just sectarian kind of like I, I guess some people might be offended by it but, but you know it's a comedy show yeah, so you know, it's, it is expect. comedy so yeah um, along with that a perforated ulster which I guess it's kind of a radio spin-off of Give My Head Peace. Yeah, it's sort of like different wee short skits in a radio format. Yeah, again about, I guess, just Northern Ireland politics, really. Yeah, it's just um, taking the mick out of everything. Yeah. Another one that I've found recently was, it's by Radio Foil, because uh, apparently 2018 marks 50 years since the start of the Troubles. Um, and it's called 68. It's just the number 68. Um, and it's just little interviews with people who were um, at the Civil Rights, March, Civil Rights March in Derry, Londonderry in October 1968. Um, and it's just how they felt they were affected by the Troubles. So it's it's a real wide range of people. So there's sort of like there's young and old. Um, and sort of from different sides, I suppose you could say. Yeah. Um, which is, it sort of gives you a fuller perspective. I've sort of only listened to maybe five episodes. Yeah, I'm the same. I haven't finished it yet, but it it is really interesting. But I've I have a real sort of morbid interest in that kind of thing. Like, I don't why think I don't think it started. Yeah, it's not necessarily morbid. Like, but no, just, like kind of like hearing the stories of um, death. <laughs> <laughs> not like not because I enjoy hearing about how people died but it's sort of like why though yeah like I like it because like in like schools and stuff you never really hear about I think it's all brushed over but like whenever you hear about the actual deaths and injuries and stuff like that that makes it real that mm -hmm. is history yeah um which I find really interesting uh what other podcasts are there there's Colin Geddes who's another comedian um yeah, it's, it's good, but it's quite sweary. I'm yeah. not really into swearing every other word, but I mean, he has some good funny stories in there. <laughs> yeah, like that's that's the one thing. If you can get over this, if you can get past the swearing, I know that a lot of people aren't phased by swearing anymore. Yeah, like I don't know, like I'm not, I'm not gonna like take offense to it if you swear. Yeah, but just I'm not gonna swear, and I don't particularly like it. I think it's a wee bit vulgar. I think. If you have to, if you have to swear every other word, you need to read a dictionary or learn more words. <laughs> I just think it's unnecessary to swear every other word. But yeah. like, I mean, there's sometimes whenever 
you need to you, yeah there's it, like it no other best. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah i think just if you if you swear a lot it's sort of i'm not trying to say people are uneducated if they swear a lot but it's sort of like you, there's there's like a million other words you could use instead of using that word mm -hmm. you know you don't necessarily have to say oh that's terrible you could say that's very terrible that's really terrible that's horrendous you know there's there's loads of words out there like you don't just have to repeat yeah does that make sense i think my favorite non-swear is crap on a stick yeah because i mean crap is just kind of like a normal bodily function yeah but when it's on a stick that's a weapon yeah, no one wants that no one wants that no one wants crap on a stick or on a shoe oh that's awful or in your hands Oh, don't even say that. Why? <laughs> oh, under your fingernails. <laughs> that should be an insult. I hope you, I hope get, you get put under, under your fingernails. fingernails. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am so sorry. That, oh, go wash your hands. Go wash everybody. your hands. Yeah, <laughs> but don't like drop your phone anywhere. Like, oh, I'm yeah. Drop your phone anywhere. What? Like, if you're bringing your phone or if you're listening to it, like, if you're going to wash your hands, oh, just don't right, drop okay. it in the water. I don't know, I thought you were, like, sort of warning people not to drop their phone in the toilet. Well, I mean, why would you wash your hands in the toilet? <laughs> That's why I was confused, because my mind immediately went to, don't drop your phone in the toilet. And, um, yeah, sorry. We've been going for 31 minutes now. It's quite short. But yeah. I think we sort of... It's quite smooth. I think I think if we do a podcast and upload this one, then we'll do another one this Sunday just as like a no, we're actually still doing podcasts, guys, please keep listening. Yeah. And then just sort of do it again. So We haven't been posting our videos and stuff as much as we should have been, but it's been we've been quite busy. Yeah. Sort of between London and then uh, we're still training and, and brother being home and it's just like we said at the start of this that we were we're lying in a bed getting ready to go for a nap because I'm just tired. Honestly exhausted. Um, but but yeah, we will start posting more regularly again. Yeah. We'll we've got a couple of videos effort. that we need to finish and upload as well. Um, there's one that we need to get done before before Wednesday preferably, but I mean we could upload it just on Wednesday. Um it's for the Stroke Association. We were asked to make a video. Um by our good friend Joe. Hi Joe, yeah. Hey Joe. Uh, we do have it almost done. We just have the final sort of 30 second segment to do. Yeah. Um, which we, we might be able to get done tonight. But honestly, I'm, I'd rather just sleep and be fully rested rather than be like super tired and grumpy and grouchy and uh, the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thank you very much for listening. Um, if you liked it, please do leave a review on the iTunes store or give us a like and a comment on SoundCloud or a like and a comment on YouTube whenever it makes it that far. If you're listening on YouTube, please please do comment because the, the podcasts do get a lot of views but also no interaction. Yeah. Um, so throw a thumbs up on it and comment what you find funny, what you didn't find funny, some like constructive criticism, maybe Even like you, a, a question yeah, or or maybe you have a childhood story or answer the would you rather questions or a topic that you want us to yeah. discuss. Plenty of stuff you can comment. Cuz we do like to discuss things like and we like your input. Preferably not like anything that's sort of a political bit, or like particularly like, like really controversial, yeah. but like would you rather questions I suppose are pretty safe. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, um, skit underscore twins or skit under slash twins, depending on which twin you like better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can find us on Facebook, just search skit twins and same with YouTube, I think, which yeah. should be the top one that comes up. It'll have the same, you'll, it'll have a picture of us, you know what we look like because of the logo of this podcast. Yeah. We haven't thought of a name. Normally whenever we're going through the podcast we sort of go, that's the name of it. Yeah. My tummy growling. Maybe just a sleepy sleep. Sleepy sleep podcast. Yeah, I guess it could be considered a bonus podcast if we're doing one at the weekend again. Yeah. My voice has gone funny again because I've turned my head to the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Anyway, uh, peace and love. Go well. Be kind. Take care, be good. Make good choices. Make all the good choices. Just sleep. Yeah, sleep. And have and nice food. Yeah. And treat, go for a walk. Treat yourself to some cereal this week. And get outside, even if it's just for a second, to stand in the fresh air and sniff some... Autumn breeze. Autumn. I don't know what I was going to say. Sniff some turkey butts. <laughs> And you have your thumb up, thumb up there as well. Yeah, it's given given the phone the thumb up there. So if you could just do that back, I will feel that love. Thanks. Oh, there we go. Oh, Thanks. That's, that's nice. Cheers. Anyway, go well. Bye. 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 Bye.